to go explore two more slot canyons this morning and then hopefully tonight get some night photos as well. So from what I've heard, I think that these two slot canyons are a little bit more involved than the last ones I went to. Um, just, I think there's a little bit of scrambling, some super tight spaces to get through. So I'm gonna leave the tripod in the car. I'm also gonna leave this camera set up, uh, except for the little bendy tripod. I'll bring that just in case I need a little tripod to put the camera on. I'll, I'll bring my phone, try to shoot some videos, uh, but Whatever shots I come up with, with a stills camera, I'll just kind of walk through them when I get back to the car. So pretty out here. coming out of the first slot now. Didn't see any shots that I was dying to take in there, but uh, just gonna head on over to the second one now, see if I can find anything good in there. Pretty cool in here, the walls, these weird little bumps on them. I think it gets really tight up ahead. Hopefully I'll make it through. Look at that golden light down there. I gotta shoot that somehow, that's awesome. Basically I'm just trying to shoot a giant panorama of this whole sort of alcove here. There's such awesome light, so many cool different colors just from the sunlight bouncing back and forth off the walls. Um, so using the really wide angle 16 millimeters and then just taking a bunch and I'll stitch them all together uh, to make it look like one super wide shot. Should be nice if the stitching works out. Onwards we go. for a lot of people. So a whole group of like 10 people all coming through this really skinny part. So had to wait, but they're all through. Oh, continuing down now. Made it out. That was pretty awesome. Second canyon especially. Unreal. So I think the shots turned out pretty nice. Well, I don't know. You guys have seen it. If it 
if it was okay. You. <laughs> Making some dinner now. Once I'm done with this, gonna head back down the road that I was on this morning and try to get some night photos. The fuel ran out while I was cooking it and I didn't really feel like getting another canister. So it's a little bit crunchy. Not, not chewy, not crunchy. I just drove down to this area here with a bunch of weird, cool rock formation things. Right now it's still the evening, so I'm just kind of walking around, scoping out what might make for a nice uh, night photo. And uh, hopefully I can find some in and then shoot it once it gets dark. Kind of like that arch up there quite cool. It might be tough to really pick out a nice composition. It's sort of tucked away this little nook. It's almost working from the other side of the arch. If there was just a little bit more separation between the tree that the arch is framing and kind of the background hills, it'd be so perfect. Like it, it just if the hills kind of didn't exist, but they do. So we gotta try to work around that somehow. Well, I think if I just get down really low with the 14 millimeter shooting super wide, that way at least like half the tree is still backed by the sky and not the hill. It might work out that way. Just gotta, gotta wait for dark now. You'll notice it's still a little bit light out. That's because I want to I want to try to take this photo when it's not totally dark yet. A because I think it'll help to kind of separate that tree under the arch from the background when there's just a little bit more light in the shot. And B, I don't think at least with this sort of composition, it's too important to have as many stars as possible. Also, the moon's out, so the stars aren't going to be that incredible anyway. settings on this one going uh, 4 second shutter f5.6 and ISO 1600. It's not my favorite shot. It didn't, didn't really turn out too great but still worth the shot. Glad I came out here. Gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next video.